Hello everyone and welcome to another fabulous upload by me. Um, today we are going to make oatmeal raisin cookies because one, it's Mother's Day weekend and two, my mom is in a bad mood and she's been asking me to make her cookies for a while. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I have assembled all my ingredients and for these cookies you will need one cup of shortening, which I did not get out because I hate shortening and I'm probably going to use butter. Uh, one and a half cups of brown sugar. Um, two eggs. Buttermilk. Um, yeah, I'll post the full recipe below. But this is everything you need to make cookies. And let's get started. First, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Second, make sure there is nothing in your oven. Next, add one cup of shortening. You can use butter or plain. I have gone for plain for the sake of simplicity. One and a half cups of packed brown sugar. And two eggs. and cream together until light and fluffy. some background music. I have elected for Big Time Rushes 24-7 and add your one cup of buttermilk and stir it. Next, we are going to mix together our dry ingredients, so get out a separate bowl. Brief product endorsement, Cake Boss measuring cups. Indestructible, even when you knock them on the floor. Next, add one and three quarters cup of flour to your dry measure. And then go fix the background music because you forgot you left it on one song repeat. <laughs> okay. And I cannot stress to you enough, level. Okay? It may not seem important, but if you've watched that episode of Cyber Chase where they had to save Slider um, from Hacker because his feet were huge, um, you will know the importance of leveling. And that is three. Now excuse me while I go fix the background music. Next, add a teaspoon of baking soda. And there's a big difference, but then again, not really, because we are adding both baking soda and baking salt. So one teaspoon of baking soda. I mean, not baking salt, baking powder. Which you're going to add one teaspoon of. Why are my measuring spoons all wet? I don't know. But after you add that, you're going to add a teaspoon of salt, regular salt, not some baking salt. Although I suppose you could use kosher salt if you really wanted to. Or if you're practice your coat you need to be kosher. Um one teaspoon of cinnamon. You can reach it in the bottom of the bowl, the container. <laughs> and then one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And, I, and again, level. Even if you make a mess, level. 
and then it technically wants you to sift everything, but since I don't have a sift, I found another trick. You can use your little, you can use a whisk and just sort of mix it all together until the chunks are gone and it looks well blended and it smells nice and fragrant. So try not to get it out of the bowl, but that's what it should look like. And now we are going to add our wet our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. So turn it on to a low speed and just slowly add it in. And just do that until your bowl is your bowl of dry ingredients is empty. And and your bowl should look something like this. So then you want to take it and go on and speed it up a little, just to beat out chunks and to make sure it's well blended, and then turn it off. And then comes the fun part. Grab a spatula and just scrape down the sides of the bowl. and wipe your spatula off and then just blend it again one more time to make sure it's nice and mixed and everything you just scraped off the sides of the bowl is mixed then if you don't want to lick the spatula it comes the next part you're going to take your measuring cup and add in three cups of quick rolled oats um, you don't want steel cut oats, you want uh, rolled oats or flat oats. Whatever the Quaker kind is in the red container. So try not to knock anything over. One, two, And three. And if you feel up, if you think your mixer is strong enough, go ahead and turn it back on. Otherwise, use a spatula. I did press record, didn't I? Okay, good. I did. All right. And you just want to mix them until they're well blended. So something like this. Something like that. And then you get to add in your raisins after you put the oats in and stuff. Now I personally like to use both regular and golden um, because I feel like it gives it an even blend of like sweetness and tartness. Um, but you can use any sort of blend you want. You can use all golden, you can use pl all plain, more golden, less plain, however you want to do it. I'll be right back. Just had to get my handy measuring cup. Now technically it calls for half a cup of raisins, but I'm going to put in a whole cup. And here's half a cup of golden raisins. And about half a cup of regular raisins. And you want to break up any clumps you have. Oh, who's home? Someone's home. Probably Nathan. All right, I'll be right back to stir those in. Never mind, it was just a bird. All right, so again, if you think your stand mixer can handle it, stir it in with a stand mixer, otherwise just mix it in by hand. And while those mix, I am going to try and clean up a little. So, uh, so please enjoy, if you enjoy watching um, Mixers Mix, in which case, why are you watching my videos? 
Mmm, fuck it up. So yeah, that's getting mixed. So go ahead and turn it off. And prep your cookie sheets if they're not non-stick. If they are non-stick, don't worry about it. Now it's the time to get Kindle feel.